Okay, before I start this video, let me address the elephant in the room. Yes, this is a Baltimore Orioles baseball cap that I am wearing on my head. No, I am not an Orioles fan. I am a New York Yankees fan, as many of you should know by now. So, you might be wondering, if I'm a Yankee fan, why on earth would I wear a Baltimore Orioles cap? Well, folks, I'll give you two reasons why. Number one, I have an abundant amount of hats in my room, and I try and treat all of them with equal respect and dignity and give them an appropriate amount of time to sit comfortably on my head. <sighs> Second reason is a couple of years ago, during the summer of 2018, I worked for the Orioles television station called Masson, the Mid-Atlantic Sports Network, and I worked with some awesome people, and I got to work with the Major League Baseball team, which was really awesome in and of itself, and I'll always treasure that experience. And they gave me this hat, and it's a very nice hat, whether I want to admit it or not as a Yankee fan. And very nice logo, and it fits perfectly on my head. Unfortunately, the Yankees and the Orioles played each other this afternoon, and unfortunately, the Orioles came out on top. So I am not in a good mood right now. <laughs> but tomorrow I should be in a better mood, because Teresa and I are going to be going to the Catskills up in New York. It's Labor Day weekend, we both wanted to do a little getaway again, and we think this is the perfect opportunity to do just that and immerse ourselves in nature. And this is the first time for either of us that we've gone to the Catskills. And I really didn't know much about the Catskills prior I just knew that there were some very nice sights and sounds to see, and it looks really cool. We're going to be doing some hiking tomorrow, and we're going to be going to two waterfalls, or we're going to be aiming to go to two waterfalls, hopefully. One is called Glen Falls, the other is called Catterskill Falls, and we really hope to see a lot of awesome sights and sounds, like I mentioned, and I really hope to do some swimming in water holes and in waterfalls. So yeah, I'm going to take my camera, tripod, and all of you along with us. So yeah, Catskills, here we come. Catskills are located in the southeastern region of New York. The area consists of mountains, forests, waterfalls, valleys, and many more aspects of nature. How the term Catskills came to be is relatively unknown. Some have claimed it's named after Dutch settlers, while others have claimed it's named after English explorer Henry Hudson, who gave it its name due to trading with Native Americans in areas populated by bobcats. There are many towns and counties within the Catskills. Arguably, the most recognizable one is the town of Bethel, which in 1969 hosted the three-day Woodstock Music Festival at Max Siasker's farm. Hundreds of thousands of people gathered on the farmlands and did drugs while witnessing performances from artists such as the band, Jefferson Airplane, Janis Joplin, and Jimi Hendrix. The Catskill Mountains themselves primarily consist of sandstone along with minerals such as copper, zinc, and iron. The waterfalls are very beautiful and many people flock on up to the Catskills to do some hiking and swimming, which is what Teresa and I intended to do during our time there. Okay, so we are in the Catskills, obviously, and we yep. just made it to Glen Falls house and we just parked our car off to the side of the road. Hopefully nothing happens to it. I don't think it will. But um, yeah, I'm just looking around. We're trying to find, figure out our first move. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see where it takes us and hopefully we got some good stuff coming our way. Here's my partner in crime. Yes. Alright, we had taken a wrong turn, but it looks like we found the trail. So this is our guide. This is our yep. map. 
It's a little odd. We're gonna go. So this is Appian Way. I'm gonna go up it and try and go around to the other Pinky Hill, Pinky Hill here, and then up the to ice the ice box loop. box loop where the water falls over here. Hopefully. Uh, so hopefully that works. Yeah, hopefully that works. <laughs> We're walking along the trail still. It's pretty buggy. I'm getting bit all over my face and my arm. They're like in my eyes. <laughs> it's not super comfortable, but it's still a very nice uh, area yeah. though. Here's some people in the back. Yeah, Teresa and I had hiked for over an hour before finally coming across our first checkpoint of the trip. The ice box. Well, you only live life once. So, I'm on the very edge overlooking the ice box falls.
this is an area where they do weddings, as you can see. Who knows? Crossing a bridge. Letting your feet dangle, I think I'll do the same. <laughs> Hopefully, nothing falls out of my pocket. Hopefully, nothing. Yeah. My old crappy shoes. <laughs> What's up, folks? Good day. Happy Labor Day weekend. Even though this is going to be published after Labor Day weekend. So, yeah. Talk about 80s here. <laughs> with the wooden walls. The old telephone, this is really something right here. I mean, I've seen that in other hotels. Yeah. Uh, your lamps. Nice pictures. But yeah. Simple. Hopefully, we get a good night's sleep. The next day. Okay, so it's Labor Day, Monday, September 6th. And second and final day here in the Catskills. And we are at our second waterfall, or waterfall hiking trail, I should say, the Catterskills. And we just drove up yep. alongside some pretty insane windy roads. It took a while to get up here. It's like about, I say it was about 10 to 15 minutes just to get up to the top of this thing, but we're, we made it. And uh, the views that we saw around us were pretty sick. And I saw some people standing on the falls. This place already looks much more massive than where we were yesterday, so should be interesting. Um, we spoke with somebody in front of parking. They said, give or take, it could be about an hour and a half hike. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes, and hopefully we get some more awesome stuff along the way. Catterskill Falls is a two-tiered waterfall that stands a total of 260 feet high with a 180-foot drop. It is among the largest waterfalls in New York and is also one of the oldest tourist attractions in all of America. The waterfall is sacred ground for Native Americans, especially the Mohicans, because it's considered to be the eternal resting place of the Creator. The waterfall has also been the source of inspiration for creators such as painters, poets, and filmmakers. Prior to the War of 1812, many avoided the area, deeming it to be unsafe. However, painter Thomas Cole, the founder of the Hudson River School of Art, was inspired to visit the area after reading the 1819 story Rip Van Winkle by Washington Irvine. The story is about a Dutch American in colonial America who meets a mysterious Dutchman, consumes too much alcohol, then passes out in the Catskills and awakens to a changed country due to the fact that he had slept through the entire American Revolution. Cole first visited the area in 1825 and quickly fell in love with the scenery. He eventually started to paint pictures of it and eventually the Catskill Mountains became the quintessential blueprint for landscape painting. This is the beginning of the Catterskills Trail. Pretty eerie, eerie looking. It's got a use the path at your own risk sign at the front. That's what it said, yeah. All right, so this is the beginning of the trail, yep. I believe. I mean, there were a couple of um, routes. I hope, this, I hope this is the right trail. I think this is the beginning of it. I would, I would have to assume so. Well, it says you use the path at your own risk, so. Well, it said it, she said it was about 20 minutes up to the falls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. I think this is the beginning of a stream, of one of the streams that is. Yeah, it's like a creek in the stream. But if you look closely. You can look if you look closely you can see one of the waterfalls down there. It took us a long time, nearly 40 minutes, but eventually Teresa and I reached our destination, the Catterskill Falls. Oh, wow, there's the fall. The mountains away. Look at this place, man. God, this is the Bye. 
by far one of the coolest sights I've ever seen. And if you look, there are actually people on the other side of the waterfall. We may try and get maybe a little closer. Oh boy, I actually may get scared up there. But yeah, this is so amazing. Look at this place. Alright, so we just hopped on a different path, trying to get closer to the waterfall, and I think we're doing just that. We're right by the waterfall, right at the tippy top of the edge. It's literally right next to us, so this should be interesting. Standing at the very edge of Catterskill Falls was one of the most breathtaking experiences I've ever encountered in my life. Literally felt like I was walking on air. It was so relaxing, yet a little intimidating at the same time, overlooking its majesty. Now we're on our way to the lower falls. Yep. So we're crossing this bridge, obviously. And hopefully, it says that the lower falls is only a half mile away, so it shouldn't take too long to get there, hopefully. And it's getting later in the day. I think we're only gonna stay for about 10 minutes this time, but, but yeah, um, hopefully it's worth it. Going down the last set of stairs. My legs are absolutely dying, and if I think they're done, coming back is going to be absolutely awful. She tries to hug me and falls into my 